Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dignity. This is once again from the retro round. Uh, on the lower bracket, Artosis gets dropped by Nyokin. That made it on the main stage. Nyokin playing his brains out. There's actually right this second um, as I'm casting this, which I'm not sure how, I, maybe like a week and a half mm -hmm. later, so you'll have to search in the back of the Reddit archives. But there's a appreciation thread for Nyokin, who is absolute beast. Casts ASL, casts Pro League, a BSL. And when he does the ASL casts, he like wakes up crazy early. It's like a weird hour in the morning for him. Anyway, focusing on this game, semi upper left hand corner as the gray Protoss bottom or top right hand corner. We have Artosis starting as the hot pink Terran. Semi solid player. I'm actually really excited to be able to cast his games. Artosis, however, brutally strong versus Protoss. And so we'll see how semi does. Artosis really has two modes. It's either the ha the hyper aggro, I'm going to take down your natural expansion and end up with an economic lead from there. Or let me pun it. He's very, very good at putting himself in position where he kind of plays a flexible mid game and punishes very greedy Protoss as well. Aye, 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 out in Chatland. Looks like Semi was thinking about going for... He had a probe there, like rallied up to gas for a second, even though it, but on off build order, so I'm not sure why I'm... Anyway, yeah, so gonna grab gas to follow. I assume he's gonna open up. We'll see if he skips that initial zealot. And we'll also see if he gets first scout. Getting first scout could absolutely be huge for him. Retro, a little bit of a smaller four player map. Looks like Artosis recognizing that, going to grab his gas to start, rather than trying to risk a potential gas deal. Semi is going to be able to land first scout overall. And I will say, ladder condition Artosis with the lag, it really does impact his early game defenses. He is pretty solid defense versus Protoss. Otherwise, moving is... Didn't quite see the angle of that probe, so unfortunately going to end up with late scout. Semi wandering in. Going to be able to get some damage, and Artosis not repositioning his SCV. Is going to build initial marine and I'm curious if this is going to trigger him to build that second marine rather than factory he is building a defensive bunker there on the front we did have a cybernetic score and no zealot being constructed interior to semi's base so maybe wanting to play a little bit more dragoon aggressive maybe get that initial front door seal which can be critical factory building bottom right idle SCV bottom right for a brief second for Atosis, and that actually also might give an opportunity for semi to deny information and with that information denial, really, Artosis hates, like, he just does not like playing from that angle. Not his thing. Factory and construction, it looks like we are seeing a third Marine. Probe wandering back up just to see if the Marines are moving to the low ground to give any indication. Range being upgraded, first Dragoon just about out. I'm curious if Semi moves this Dragoon to, uh, to try to deny and punish the front, or if he's going to leave this Dragoon on the ramp to try to deny information to Artosis. We'll have to see. Three Marines, fourth Marine being constructed. And this leads me to believe Artosis might, and a fifth Marine queued. Yeah, he's gonna try to play aggressive initially. So he's looking for a more rapid expansion and wanting to punish Semi overall. And very cleverly, only moving the three Marines to the low ground, not exposing that he's built that fourth Marine. SCV down here, no bunker being constructed. He's gonna see if he can get away with it. Nexus is being built in the meantime. Semi not finding that SCV to attack at the lower corner, but gathering up, now going for the attack. Semi sees it. SCV getting pushed off. Dragoon drawing its way back. It's not getting the free shots it needs. So, okay, did get a free shot on that vulture. Pseudo FD right here. So command center being built behind it. Let's see if Artosis persists. So pulling, so FD fake double right here. So acting like he's gonna fake push into this and instead grabbing the natural expansion to put Semi a little bit more in the defense. And it looks like Semi is baiting down on it as the machine shop is being constructed. So Semi, yeah, still, when you feel that relief of pressure, he needs to actually move up with the troops and re-engage with that natural expansion to make sure this doesn't happen, that the vultures able to sneak back around. So with that play, what Artosis has managed to do, actually a safe bunker on top of everything else, he's managed to seal that natural expansion and alleviate potential early Dragoon pressure on his front. Settle of a Dune to follow this up. 
pretty rapid with robotic support, so it looks like we're potentially going to have a DT drop as far as a turnaround. Vulture sneaking across the south, looking for angles. Semi holding that front with those four Dragoons in the meantime. Looks like we also have a sneaky SCV at that 9 o'clock location. And I'm wondering if Artosis was thinking about going for a drop as well. I think the Vulture was spotted by Semi along that corner. Second Vulture making its way out, so not able to prod the edges. Yeah, Templar Archives in construction. DT drop for sure. And I kind of like this play from Semi. We have an academy being constructed, but the mines on the front, but with no mines being placed at the main and a potential commsat station that's maybe going to have one or two scans, this could be critical. The mine placement and the positioning of this vulture at the 12 o'clock, because that very likely is going to be the route of the initial shuttle with the Dark Templar. Mines being dropped at the 9 o'clock just, I think, preemptively to deny that base, but also to get additional scouting. We have a mine at that corner as well. So this will be the question is what angle does Semi take towards the base that will determine a lot of the success or failure of this drop. Two DTs scooped up, shuttle away. And this would be the optimal path here is scooting around this edge. But if he just takes the flat northern... Okay, does Artosa see it is the next question. So shuttle sneaking out along that northern border, waiting. There it shows up on... And do we get a response? Yep, vultures and siege tanks in position. Comsat station there as well. So Semi not going to get a lot out of this Dark Templar play as, uh, as a result. That's going to slow down his third. Trying to get a mind drag. Not quite able to. There's the first Comsat. Scooping the Dark Templar back in the shuttle, trying to wait out that timer. But right now, this is looking like a failed DT drop. Redropping. Able to kill that SCV. Getting something there. Forcing a Comsat at other location. So now, with a lack of detection, Semi's still going to get some bonus out of it. Stopping the turret here on the low ground, it's going to be a minute before there's enough energy. So Semi, able to get four, it looks like five SCV kills. Pulling off SCVs, this is mostly annoying. Drawing the SCVs back to the mineral line, that is going to set him back economically. So we're a nice play by Semi, where I thought that was going to be a fail. Instead, able to hold it, regathering around the finished turret to kill that Templar. That still does slow down that third. <laughs> Get in the comment. <laughs> Semi admitting that he's uh, a horrible Protoss player. Terrible, terrible. Gotta expect everything in tournament situation. Clearing out the 12 o'clock, I'd be actually a little bit shocked if he expanded to the 12 o'clock. But starting to move out, that is leaving his natural expansion a little bit exposed. He does have a reaver to help defend there. But the vultures might be able to turn around and get some damage right there. Two siege tanks, some mines, marines, goliath, etc. out on the front should be able to push back the dragoons. Oh man, leaving the front completely exposed. Another shuttle scooping up, and if Artosis just takes a look at that natural, he's going to find nothing there. And a nice opportunity to do some damage. Semi really playing risky with the early game shenanigans. Moving up with a Reaver follow-up, testing the front, losing a Dragoon right there, trying to draw attention away. Now Artosis has found that exposed natural. He's going to be... Does he have mines left? Has a few mines left. Going to be able to scatter out that natural. That's also delaying Micro both directions, able to halt that factory. Vulture's getting all the way into the main. Actually, decent cleanup by Semi. Never mind. Looks like Probe's going to defend itself there. Able to do so again because of the split macro. Vulture's able to pocket themselves top left corner. Get some solid kills right there. The Dragoon trying to do what it can. Starport has been delayed. Reaver got wiped out. Oof. And at the end of that, it looks like Artos is going to be up. And Workers in Supply, we have some high Templar out. But Semi really either needed to be taking a third at this stage or having a lot more success with those drops. So Artosis in a firm, firm situation here as he's tacking on that third factory. Dropping a, star, a control tower of his own might follow up with drop play. We have shuttle speed being upgraded and another shuttle being built. So Semi kind of going belligerently into this. Maybe going to go for some storm drops to try to halt things that direction. But he needs storm drops and an additional base. And it looks like Artosis already has that single vulture there to deny it. And let's see, oof, is there observer alongside? All of these shuttles have meant fewer observers. 
Dragoon's actually getting very, very lucky. This less likely. Okay, managed to get some damage right there. Gonna try to clear out the mine with their face here at the 3 o'clock. So yeah, one... One Dragoon down and a little bit of additional damage. Artosis flooding up not... I don't think this is enough Vultures to really halt that, but cutting off the reinforcement. Getting the probe, though. Trying to make its way to rebuild to continue to delay Semi's third. Just putting him in a fantastic situation. Going up to five factories, dropping that second machine shop. And getting that science facility is getting a dropship as well. So wants to go for his own counter drops. This is delaying that plus one weapons. But at the same time... He's in a strong enough economic position where he might just be able to flood with just baseline units. The Observer making its way across. Let's see if Semi walks to the low ground to clear the mines between that forward field position. Yeah, just sending a single... I actually kind of like it when there's only two or three Dragoons because you're not revealing the, the bulk of your troop count. More, more Vultures making their way forward to make something happen. A side storm drop of the natural expansion. Catching a good amount of SCVs. It looks like the shuttle, however, getting taken out. A lot of SCVs were able to pull out of the way, though. And this is a big bulk of tanks right here. And honestly, I don't know that there's a lot of Dragoons to deal with this from Semi. And this is five factories as well behind it. So we'll see if we see a five factory no upgrade push out of Artosis off two bases with some drop supplementation. Moving out is the Observer fine. Observer finds that dropship, does Semi respond to this. He's going to move, still trying to drop that 9 o'clock base. It looks like that siege tank was moving right there. Semi doesn't move troops, though, to engage that dropship, unfortunately. Okay, now reacts. Able to get it. Is he going to be able to take it out before that siege tank gets out? No, not quite. But these Dragoons should be plenty to go ahead and clear everything out. The five factories in the background producing a lot of troops, plus one weapons on the way. I'm wondering if our, uh, with the timing of it though, that plus one weapons a bit behind because of a lot of the other tech was taken. If he's going to go just without the plus one weapons around this time would be, yeah, now he's starting to make that movement. Looks like we have another size storm drop moving in for semi. This is not the best timing though. Might want to reposition. If he could size storm a lot of this here, it would be absolutely fantastic. This is the opportunity. Moving, it looks like, away from a lot of those... Oh, man, those siege tanks are beautifully clumped. But Semi just doesn't see it. He doesn't have the vision to press this. Now, Artosa staging up as though he's moving just to go ahead and solidify that 12 o'clock base. It could be that is, in fact, his plan. But usually when you're on 5 Factory at this stage, the plan is to get aggressive. Plus some weapons. Now finish. I think I missed... That factory timing, because I thought, or the or the armory timing, I should say, because I thought plus one weapons was somewhat delayed behind all that. Nine o'clock base is up, not yet saturated. Artosis continually up on that worker count. I'm looking to see, I'm wondering if this is like a decision point for him, whether he's going to move up to the 12 and expand into semi, or whether he's just going to unsiege all this and go for some aggression right here. Moving up vultures into the 12 o'clock. Cycling on the low ground corner. I don't see any siege tank. I don't see, first of all, an observer or siege tanks moving their way that direction. We're seeing instead a supply depot blockade bottom left, a vulture checking out the natural, able to get some additional, getting a mine laid and some additional probe kills. So just checking things out. And we are seeing a command center very, very careful. Oh, I'm not sure I like this. I prefer to see just a handful of siege tanks make their way up to the high ground right there. And get some supply depots and then just build the command center on site. Instead, it looks like Artosis is going to play a very slow third and make his way towards potentially more the 3 2 style. Another shuttle with Sidestorm drop in tow making its way out. Also blockading any potential fourth out for Semi altogether. Semi now running at the 9 o'clock. Up a good amount of supply. This is what I wanted to see earlier. Yeah, some vultures moving up, just a little bit too cautious in my opinion. Goliath and Marine getting a lot of damage. Take out that shuttle. That was a huge loss for Semi. That was a lot of gas for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bulk of Dragoons. It looks like he's just going to try to play and he was trying to play the shuttle style rather than going for a move to Arbiter. So that's yet another speed shuttle down. Now Artos is plugging up that base but again he dedicated the command center to his main. Semi, I mean, look, this is not the best attack point to engage. I don't, I think Artosis has just well, well too 
The fortification lines are a little bit too strong. Semi discovering the bottom left is blockaded by that supply depot. Isn't dedicating a lot of troops out there. Maybe looking to engage, but this is <clears throat> some tanks that are already sieged and easy to reinforce. Observer is going to spot that command center floating out to the 12th o'clock, and let's see if that triggers. So Semi actually going for the low ground, bottom left. Probe going to get taken out. Still going to be able to get it. Yeah, it's going to be shuttle style out from Semi. At least Artosa sees the timing of it. A single SCV scattering here, bottom left. He's got plus two weapons now. No upgrade on plus one armor as of yet. Semi is seeing that 12 o'clock timing and the saturation. Has actually hit 200 supply here. 40 supply up on Artosis. Let's see if he can turn that around into something. But critically, yeah, he's got to play, he's trying to play that shuttle style. And this is where you really need to have like a bulk of, oh my gosh, that mine. Obliterating those zealots. They are so weakened now. Yeah, you just got to have really fantastic streams of troops pressing in. Zealots, looks like a lot of troops didn't clean up what was bottom left as well. So that is going to open up potentially a follow-up attack. Semi at 200 supply needs to start picking away at potential, really, the bulk of the siege tanks. Needs to get a drop in there somehow. Nice grouping of Goliaths in front to blockade. Artosis unseaging right this second, and Semi nowhere. That's the moment where you wanted to move in and engage, but Semi doesn't see it. And so Artosis able to continue to make his way across and sees slow map control. He's also grabbing that 3 o'clock behind this and starting to encapsulate mid-map. Looks like shuttles dropping at the 12 o'clock. Mostly just zealots. One shuttle looks like it got wiped out. Vulture's able to sweep in and clean it up fairly easily. Guessing the second shuttle got taken out by the turrets. And Semi just not finding the engagements he's looking for. Shuttle just mostly scouting here at the forward field and it still hasn't scouted that 3 o'clock. In the meantime, Artosis is moving further and further to 200 supply. And the upgrades, although the upgrades have delayed right this second, it looks like he's just sitting on level 2 upgrades. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Vulture's blockading bottom left. You have an SCV still waiting there, and that bottom left has not yet been saturated. So this is effectively two bases versus two right this second, which means Artosis is at an economic lead, and he's just taken the supply lead as well. So mains mined out, but 12 o'clock is humming. Natural expansion still has a very healthy supply count, and Artosis slowly walking forward into semi overall, finally saturating bottom left. But not before Artosis has got that 3 o'clock base up and a handful of SCVs, not even a handful actually, three SCVs right there. He can transfer the SCVs from his main to that location. He, very low worker count on both ends. High Templar grouped up, still not finding drop locations. It's kind of the problem with the shuttles. You just need to sacrifice a massive amount of shuttles versus Goliaths to make it happen and somehow be able to pick out High Templar. It's very challenging to play it. So it's just going to be Gateway Man pressing its way in. High Templar is still not a factor, and SCV blockading on the south. Zoom out. Some Psy Storm not catching a lot of the siege tanks back here, though, where they were really looking for it. Some nice defense here from Artosis. So now, somebody losing the bulk of his army and doesn't have a lot to show for it, unfortunately. Artos is taking a big lead now. 30 supply up, a lot of bases to work with, skeleton crew to defend the 12 o'clock, but it's just such a plug gap. It doesn't It's very difficult to try to make it happen. It looks like some cannons being dropped bottom left. The Vulture's gonna find this probe bottom left. Looks like the Nexus is gonna get dropped. Some pylons and cannons might be able to defend it, but Artosis slowly cutting a swath, making it impossible to defend for Semi, his bottom left holding. So probes have made their way bottom to the bottom corner, but I don't see Semi being able to reinforce it, and that's going to leave it just kind of an easy cleanup. The upgrades have restarted in the meantime. Semi just sitting at plus one weapons right this second. Still no Arbiters out in the field, so he's just playing it off the 12 gateways in his main. Hasn't managed to get gateways established bottom left. Artos is still up 30 supply and just kind of slow playing it. This is... Yeah, just slowly closing the noose towards that natural expansion. Finding the army. High Templar look like they're going to get picked off here. Looks like the second one does it 
does have some side storm maybe to make something happen. Archon and High Templar drops able to clear out the SCVs at the 3 o'clock. Not a lot of SCVs there though, so Artosis... Actually, never mind. SCV line obliterated by Artosis there. Another High Templar picked off. And Artosis now starting to sweep around this lower artifact. If Semi can just get a couple more macro rounds out, he might be able to take this game though, because that was a huge economic hit to Artosis at that 3 o'clock location. But I ended up missing off screen there. But Artosa swinging around, dropping additional mines. Now, does he close this out at the natural expansion or does he just send some troops? It looks like two siege tanks now, bottom left. Maybe to take out that base there. Semi trying to engage. Sem Sidestorm on the vultures initially. Not No Sidestorm left, so it's just Dragoons against the siege tanks. Without any additional support, and this is not enough Dragoons to press into that siege tank line. Siege tank still waiting bottom left to maybe press through. Artos is able to re-establish that three o'clock. And Semi, this is Semi's rally point, it looks like. A grouping of zealots looking to rejoin. Artos is continually to slowly make his way up a single siege tank to try to draw into this bulk of siege tanks at that back corner, but is very, very steadily making his way towards that natural expansion, getting good trades as he makes his way up. Zealots now marching their way down, able to get on some of the forward siege tanks. There's actually not a lot of vultures here. High Templar gets picked off before any side storms drop. The tanks that were unseached able to clean up the Zealots, and now Semi has no army. Well, he's got these Zealots between here, but this is just not going to be sufficient to keep Artosis back. Has very little defense. And there's a big wedge now. He can't defend everything bottom left, and he really is potentially going to end up losing a control position at his natural expansion. Com uh, it looks like that command center actually floated back. So I'm trying to counterattack somewhere. So trying to draw up to the 12 o'clock base. Artosis is just going to move, it looks like, all the way into the natural expansion to follow things up. So the 12 o'clock going to get disrupted. Two siege tanks have managed to go into the 9 o'clock. Did they reposition? Never mind, they just went back on the dropship. I'm not sure the reasoning for that right this second. But SCV's scattering. But Artosis just carefully making his way back into that natural smash. He now has death grip and I don't... It was semi with his latent army here that was out causing that disruption at that 12 o'clock. That's getting cleaned up, which means he doesn't have a lot else except for this shuttle to try to sneak out and defend all of his holdings. So Zemi is mining bottom left, but a handful of vultures or siege tanks could clear that out. He can't, he doesn't have any gateways anywhere else, so he's basically boxed in. He's got a single zealot working on, that's it as far as troops, and just only a shuttle to make it happen otherwise. And the minerals look like they actually are playing for Artosis here mid-map, so that's a thing. No High Templar, just two Dragoons trying to make something happen, dropping here at the 3 o'clock. I'm not even getting an SCV kill, but able to drop in between the siege tanks. Defense Matrix. Let's see if SCVs come off the line. Yeah, they're just going to unsiege and clear that out. But so Artosis is just a cleanup. He's got this game now. It's just cleanup from here. He just either he can just hold there. Yeah, GG for Semi. Recognizing that was in fact a cleanup operation. Good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.